All right. Battle belts. I'm going to break this down Barney style. I'm going to spin this thing around one more time and show you my belt. It's not a standalone. That's the first thing you need to realize about this thing. It's not a standalone. Could it function in that role? Yes. Would I want it to? No. Would it be better than nothing if it had to? Absolutely. freaking lootly That said, it is part of a system. Specifically, it pairs with my plate carrier. That's what it's designed to do. So, <coughs> excuse me. Understanding that, understanding that I don't do standalones. If you've watched any of the videos here, I don't do standalones. I don't have a bug out bag. I have a bug out system. I don't have a Minuteman belt. I have a Minuteman system. I don't have a rifle. I have a rifle system. It's all systems, systems, systems. So knowing that, let me show you what is on my belt line as part of my battle belt. And I'm going to break this down as best as I possibly can. If you'd like to see the system that it interfaces with, look up the Minuteman loadout on this channel and you'll see a broad and expansive conversation about how this thing works with the rest of what I carry. Roger, Roger, stand by. <sighs> There is a loaded pistol pointed at my genitalia. I think we're gonna move. All right. This is the Condor gun belt. Inside of the Condor battle belt, which is attached to the Condor H harness. All of which I've been pleasantly surprised by. And I don't just own the stuff, I use the stuff. If you don't believe me, just flip through the channel and you will find videos of us playing in our gear. Copy. All right, now we got that out of the way. What are we dealing with here? Standard just holster. Just It's just a $20 holster. Is it super high speed? No. Do I need it to be? No. This is not your primary weapon. Let me say again, this is not your primary weapon. Copy. Glock, model 21C, plus two base plate, the spare mag, 185 grain, uh, Barnes X-Tac, solid copper, plus P hollow points. This is, we're going to go clockwise this time. So, pistol holster. It's not on the drop leg platform. It sits just below the belt. If you get your gear too low down on your leg in the drop leg holster, two things are going to happen. When you walk around in it, it's going to chafe you, experience, and you have rotational mass lower on your leg, which is going to take more effort to run with it, and it's going to flop around a lot more. Okay? So, yeah, it's definitely SEAL Team 6 circa 1986 to put that thing on a drop leg, but it also makes sense to not. So don't feel compelled to have to have it on a drop leg platform. Okay, this pouch, repurposed IFAC pouch. I literally just dumped this thing a few minutes ago for a different video, but that's okay. We're going to do it again. This is... Um, these are fire or <laughs> fireproof, waterproof, stormproof matches. They would really suck if they were fireproof. That would be an issue. This is the backwash filter for the Sawyer Mini that goes with this, which is the squeeze bag for the Sawyer Mini, which goes with this, which is the straw for the Sawyer Mini, all of which go with this, which is the Sawyer Mini water filter. I have a video on that. You can look it up, Sawyer Mini. This is a sharpening stone, just a Smith's, a uh, fairly fine grit sharpening stone for honing a knife in the field. If you're gonna carry a knife, carry a stone to sharpen it with. Um, a dull knife is useless. So just like you have spare mags for your weapons, you should have a sharpening stone for your knives. 
This is just an emergency blanket. That's all it is. This is a cool color, but it's just an emergency blanket. Map compass, which is tied to the pouch. See that? It's tied to the pouch, so you can't drop it and lose it, because that would suck. Some wipes for keeping your booty hole clean and or taking a shower in the field. A little bit of uh, GI issue bug repellent. It's good stuff. Good stuff, whatever. Actually, my youngest child would not stop trying to eat this at the uh, surplus store. So I just bought it and let her play with it. She never did eat it, so no worries. And then I was like, I got it home. I was like, yeah, that's worth having. So it's in there. A little bit of duct tape wrapped around a card. There's about 10 feet on there. And a lighter. Yes, a lighter. Can I make a friction fire? Yes. Do I have ferro rods? Yes. Check this out. Pretty quick. So, and cheap. What's this, $1.29? worth having okay so i'm going to repack this and then we're going to start up again stand by and we're back okay so basically survival kit it's on my right hand side because i'm right handed which means i'm not going to be diving in and out of this pouch unless things are not uh, hot and heavy because my right hand is going to be on the pistol grip of my rifle at all times, okay? So this pouch is situated on my right hand side. It does not interfere with the draw of this pistol because this curves around this way away from the pouch. And also check out my cool tan from my watch. See that? Usually there's a watch there and see that pasty white boy underneath there? That's what happens when you work outside. You get a crazy tan other than where your watch is. Okay. Continuing, this is a one quart GI issue uh, canteen, standard GI canteen. And in the bottom of this is a canteen cup. And in the side of here are the little um, iodine tabs as well as the pH treatment tabs. So this package right here is about 10 bucks and it does 25 quarts slash liters of water. Okay, so this will do 25 of these. Also in here is another lighter. Why? Redundancy, bro. And there is a steel cup in here. You guys probably don't believe me. You know what, let's just, let's just go there. We got time, right? We got time. Let's do it. Yeah. Can he bare hand it? See what I did there? You see what I did there? Ah, look, a steel cup. He wasn't lying. He's not all like those other mans. He doesn't lie to me. No, I don't lie to y'all. Why would I, what, to look cool on the internet? No, there's a steel cup in there, okay? Canteen cup. What is this? Y'all know what this is. That's an M4 mag pouch. What's in there? Two 30 round magazines. They are in the middle of my back on this kit. Why? Eh. How many magazines do you need? Well, you guys know me. You know the answer to that. As many as we can possibly freaking carry. That is correct. Emergency reloads and or... Uh, personal resupply okay so they are less than ideal to grab from this position however i can do it with both hands although this is my reload hand i reach around come back here grab flip this pull this reinsert mag 62 grain uh green tips okay this is set up exactly like this is complete redundancy see we've got even more water tabs inside of there and yet again we have a lighter in here and 
Yes, there is a steel cup in the bottom of this as well. Two is one, one is none. And hey man, if you gotta make some coffee and your buddy's like, bro, do I get any? You really wanna share your cup with him or you wanna just hand him his own cup? Okay, so here, another repurposed IFAC pouch. Inside of here are calories. Incidental calories, this is on my left side, which means when I'm not in the middle of throwing lead at bad guys, I can reach down with my left hand, pop the top of the Ziploc open, and eat all these delicious planter salted peanuts, which are kind of my kryptonite, okay? So we got a whole bunch of those right there. And then I've also got eight, eight of these um, obnoxiously delicious Sunbelt Bakery, uh, they should be just candy bars. Chewy granola bars. These things are, I'm pretty sure they're 40% heroin by volume because they're that addictive. Okay, so there's eight of those in there plus all these stupid peanuts. So just like an absurd amount of peanuts because calories, bro. This is the only thing you ever grabbed running out the door if the world was ending or something similar to it. And this is what you grabbed. You got a thousand calories on you. That, that's something it's a lot better than zero calories okay working our way around we have two more p mags right here yes they're loaded you guys never believe me yes they're loaded more green tips will it focus focus you stupid thing where's the camera there it is all right more green tips always loaded what's the point in having them in the kit if they're not loaded Okay, and then finally, our Ontario Knife Company Rat 3 Fixed Blade, which is my EDC, which if I had to put this knife or put this kit on, this knife and that pistol come off of my belt line and onto this belt. Does that make sense? It's real quick. Real quick. I mean, it, it takes me less than three minutes to dump my EDC into this belt Put this belt on and then put that plate carrier on, which, watch the video, Minuteman loadout. But that's what's on my belt. So to recap, we have a fixed blade knife, two magazines, calories, quart canteen, water treatment, lighter, steel cup, two more magazines, quart canteen, water treatment, lighter, steel cup, survival kit with a water filter, a compass, an emergency uh, blanket. What else is in there? A knife sharpener, some duct tape, and some wipes all inside of here. And then my pistol and a spare magazine. And there are two more spare mags on the plate carrier. And I know Y'all have seen this since jump. You guys, from the very beginning, you're like, what is that? Those are bullets for riding. No, they're not bullets for riding. They're earplugs. And I just tuck them inside that molly right there. That if I know things are going to get loud, I have an opportunity to reach inside there with my thumb. And I can poke them out, grab them, roll them, and stick them in my ears right quick. Because hearing is something that you should try and preserve uh, not just when you're in battle, but when you're not in battle as well. Uh, so, I have really, not really bad hearing loss, but I definitely have some significant hearing loss just from loud noises. So, that's my battle belt. That's what I run. And I guess I'll spin this around one more time and talk to you guys again. Hola. Como esta? Bien? Y tú? Mi nombre es T. Yo quiero mucho cervezas. Oh, that's right. We speak English. I'm sorry. I forgot. Sometimes I get a little confused. So that's my battle belt. It's my freaking belt line kit, guys. Um, don't get all caught up in the nomenclature. I just saw it. Dang near a knockdown drag out on the internet the other day about uh, the difference between a get home bag and a bug out bag. Guys, it's a rucksack full of crap that you're going to need when things get bad. Yeah, there's some nuance there. 
there's some idiosyncrasies. There's some things that matter and there's a lot of things that don't. One of which is what you call your stuff. Now, there should be some commonality as far as the phraseology. I know I'm using big words. Some commonality of the phraseology so that we all kind of know what we're talking about with each other. It's like if I called a horse a tornado and you called a horse a, go a gobbledygook, we'd have a hard time talking about horses, right? So I get that, but uh, don't get all caught up in the phraseology. Don't get all caught up in the wording. Substance matters, okay? Go forth and do. We talk about this all the time. The substance matters. What's on your belt matters more than what you call the crap on your belt, okay? So once again, this is only a think piece for you guys. I in no way advocate that anybody do the stuff that I do. I want you to think about the stuff that you do. I want to shine light on what it is that you do, okay? So, do you have enough ammo? Do you have enough water? Do you have enough calories? It's important. It's something people forget that all the time. Yeah, you can go three weeks without calories. You are not going to be happy and you are not going to function effectively. Okay, do you have enough calories? Do you have, look, you can get these used IFAC kits for like five bucks. Five bucks, man. Throw a little bit of gear in there to help keep your ass from going dead if things get serious. A little, you know, $20 water filter, a compass, some maps, you know, a knife sharpener. We, we hit that, well, let's foot stomp that. If you're going to carry a knife, carry a knife sharpener or sharpening stone. You carry spare mags for your rifle and for your pistol, carry a sharpening stone for your knife. It's kind of the same thing. Uh, have a knife, you know, have a way to make some fire, a way to treat your water, filter your water. These are all big things. Uh, but it doesn't take up that much space on a belt. And I've got, you know, four mags is four pounds and two quarts of water is another four pounds, eight pounds. Then the rest of this is maybe another four pounds, 12 pounds, 12 pounds. On these gigantic 56 inch chest shoulders, 12 pounds ain't nothing. So to me, it's all gravy, man. I'd rather take 12 pounds and have it than not take 12 pounds and not have it. So that's my belt line kit. Uh, Y'all will, uh, Send me all kinds of questions, and I love it. ntxmagmag at gmail.com if you want to email or drop a question in the comments. Please like and share. That helps me quite a bit. The channel is starting to pick up some steam, and I'm deeply appreciative. And um, that's it, y'all. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to freaking bed.